Welcome back to another episode of the Mile High Poke Den. This is your boy, Tony Tone. And we're going to open up a Pikachu tin. It's one of the newer ones. I don't know what comes in it. A few booster packs, I'm sure. Five. Five booster packs. Nice. And then a mystery package that I got offline off of eBay. No idea what's in here, but we will see what it is together. So and I got some scissors here just in case. Actually, I'm glad I have some scissors because here we go. Some tape right here. Okay. Which I don't know. Okay. Nope. That didn't really do anything. It's still it's stuck. Ugh. So let's see what we got in here. Some blue envelopes. Ah, right, looks like we got a breakpoint booster pack. That's pretty cool. Ah, Darkness Ablaze. Nice. Ah, uh, we got Fates Collide. Dope. And a few mystery packs, it looks like, inside of the mystery box. Oh, I keep hitting my camera. <laughs> there we go. Sick. And then, uh... Another mystery, little mini mystery cube. Cool. All right. Well, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I can't wait to see what's in here. Maybe we'll save that for last. Put these all to the side. Let's get into the, these booster packs and see what's in there, at least. Scissors out of the way. Got sunglasses, but it's like 11 o'clock while I'm doing this at night. <laughs> so I don't need sunglasses. Let's see what's in the darkness of boys. Yeah. So a few cards in here that I need. I've opened up two booster boxes of this, but I uh, still need a lot of cards. So here's this for you. Oops. There we go. And do this. Do Paul's trick. Yeah. The lightning energy. Fix the camera a little bit. Lightning energy. We got Gotharita. Pierre's. We got a powerful energy. That's pretty cool looking. I don't think I've pulled that yet. Gothita. Skarmory. We got Cub Chew. A Wimp Pod. A Bunnel Bee. And I'm going to make this into a cool frame. Not just Bunnel Bee, but from this uh, Tomo Kozu Komiya guy. Which I probably butchered his name again. And then on the end, it's a Del Caddy. Nice. Okay, well, let's get into the break point. We got the the hell is that called? Whoops. Oh, duh. It's like Ninja Break. It's, the name's on the on the cover of this thing. Oh, that's sweet. Is that like a Mega Sizzle or something? I don't know what that is. That's pretty cool looking, though. All right. Code card for you guys. I'm going to do my trick this time. Oh. Nope, there's the rare. <laughs> Camera up. I guess uh, it's just three to the front with these. So that is the rare. What else we got in here? <laughs> I do that every once in a while. Durant, Bursting Balloon, Puzzle of Time, The Chikorita, A Time Pole, Spritzy, A Skrelp, Haunage. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Uh, Reverse Hollow Pangoro. I definitely don't have this, but that's pretty cool looking. All right, and then we got a Fates Collider. Now, I do believe this is just three to the front. So we'll try that. Play it safe, three to the front. <laughs> oh, looks like there isn't going to be much in this. Oh, what'd I do? I just threw that away. My bad, guys. Here. <laughs> Boom, there you go. Three to the front. All right. We got a Wormadam. I just learned about that. I mean, I still don't really know what it is. I just learned that it, it's a Pokemon that exists. The Evolution Spray. Um, oh, Manti? <laughs> what? Oh, Ammonite. I don't know why I thought that was weird, spelt weird or something. Ammonite. I just, maybe I thought the Y was an I. I don't know. I just, it was just weird to me. <laughs> Benekin, Gothita, Binnacle. Hey, this is another one I could add to my little cool mosaic collage. I guess I'm, 
don't know what to do. Oh, there, there's, there's it is. There's the special. Oh, it's pretty sick though. They got a Lugia Bray card. That's pretty dope. How do you? How can you tell if these things are centered on here? It doesn't. Maybe this needs to go to the right a little bit. Anyways, pretty sweet. I I don't mind the break cards. I kind of like them, and I like Lugia. Lugia is a pretty dope ass Pokemon, so it's a win win there. Sick. All right, we'll bust out a little stand here. I put them to the side so I had room. Aha! Uh -huh, so hey, these over here. Let's get it into one of these mystery cubes. How's this open? This way. Flap goes this way. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe just do it like this. So, uh, Monferno. These look like a whole bunch of reverse hollows. Yeah, I think they are. I think this might be just a whole thing of reverse hollows. Oh, sweet. And this is by that guy I like. That to the side, Lampent, a Clink, C Dot. Okay, not all of them were reverse hollows. Now we got into some, oh, just some regular rares, it looks like. Yeah, just some regular rares. Nido King, I always thought this was a pretty cool looking picture. Oxycroak, Jump Bluff, Diggers B. Hey, that's pretty neat. Got a Whizcash. All right, all right, let's high vibing. That was way more reverse hollows than I expected. <laughs> of course, I don't ever really know what to expect in these things. This this one is a pretty thick, thick brick. Thick brick. Let's see what's in this guy. Probably more reverse hollows. Looks like we got a Mewtwo from Evolutions. Charmeleon, Kakuna, Electrode, Poke Gear, Camera Ups. Well, that's pretty dope. See, I don't have any cards from this set or this series. I don't, honestly don't know what that is. Whoa, what is that? Pyroar? That's pretty neat artwork right there. <laughs> dope. Carbink, got a Duck Trio. A lot of evolutions. Mag Mortar. Butterfree. A Ditto. Oh, nice. <laughs> Another Ditto. It's cool. I'm putting these ones in their own pile. Machoke. A Bomb. Oh, okay. I'll have to put this with the other one. Torchic, that's pretty sick. Charmander, Charmander, Stonejourner, Pikachu. Here comes Team Rocket from Evolutions. Uh, the Dual Double Colorless Energy. We got a Nine Tails, Excalibur, Hoopa, Non Hollow Rare, Inteleon, Whizcash. Oh, my favorite, Cramorant. <laughs> we got a Hydreigon, Bonzong, Altaria. See, I like these. These things are pretty cool. I was going to go with that too. Oh, an Electric. All right. Bent Spoon, Greedy Dice, Energy. I kind of like this. And if you guys like it too, I'll uh, I'll, I'll just figure out how to uh, put this guy's link in, in my description. I will surely try to figure it out. That a Lugia, that's pretty dope. Like I said, man, I always like that Lugia. Look at that. Put you right there, buddy. A lot of Jirachis. I, th I think I have four of those now. I got them out of, uh, what is that? Uh, well, I got it out of a uh, theme deck is where I got those from. All right, now these ones are sleeves, so maybe these are the holographics. We will find out. Oh, it looks like only a couple of them are sleeves. So maybe just a couple of hollows in here. If I can get it open. There, oh, there we go. Everything was packaged pretty nicely. Got some foam peanuts and stuff in there. Okay, so. Ah, Unified Mind Sleeve. So we'll put those like that. And this one's sleeve too, so we'll do that. Okay. Rose Tower. And there's Rose. The Spike Mooth. Oh, these are all from Darkness Ablaze. Okay. Cool. These are trainers. Those were all trainers. Nice. Now let's see what these are. Unified Minds is a oh, first edition Dark Machoke. That's pretty sick. I'll take that for sure. <laughs> and then this one is a Pidgeot EX from Evolutions. I believe I already have this guy. And then the last one is 
a double colorless reverse hollow energy card. Cool. All right. Those weren't bad. I do like this first edition Dark Machoke. That's yeah, pretty dope. So, so far, no hollows. But let's see what's in here. Let's see what these are. Okay. Uh oh, it's a graded card. It's a graded card. Oh shit. Is that what's in this other one too? Let's see. <laughs> oh, nice. I only have one graded card. I'll show you what that is in a second. Yeah, two graded cards. Okay. The only one I got, and I got it from another mystery box, was this uh, Magnazone PSA Grade 8. So, that was my very first one. It's not one that I would have sent in personally, but no complaints here. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, first edition trainer. Got a nine on it. Sick from the fossil set. I used to have this when I was a kid. And then, and then uh, you know, just got rid of it. <laughs> cool. Oh, fuck yeah. That's awesome. Well, let's see what this last one is. Looks pretty good in there. It's a... Oh, Shadowless uh, Machop. Gem Mint 8. That is also pretty dope. All right. Didn't really get any holographics in this, but I did get some pretty sick cards that, for me personally, makes it worthwhile. I really liked these. These were pretty cool, even some of the commons and uncommons. All right, all right. Yeah, I kind of liked it, so I'll, I'll try to figure out how to leave his link, this person's link, in my description. And then you guys could cop one yourselves. There, it was 50 bucks, and he had some other... Uh, you had some other options there too. There was one for a hundred bucks, but I just I didn't get that one. So, all right, let's get into the tin, the Pikachu tin. Now there's three of these tins. There's Pikachu, Eevee, and Eternatus or Eternus. You know, one of these days I'm gonna decide which way I want to call that thing. It's that guy though, Eternus, Eternatus, <laughs> and then an Eevee. They only had this one at Walmart. No, no, I mean, they only had the uh, Eevee one at Walmart. But Paul was cool enough, and he got me one. He got me an Eevee. So, I know you guys have probably have already opened up these. That's okay. A little late on the ball. We tend to get our stuff a little bit later here in Colorado than kind of the rest of the world. <laughs> it's funny how that works out. So let's take a look at this Pikachu card together. This is pretty cool. I like it. I have a whole lot of Pikachu stuff now. For some reason, I went on a Mystery Cube binge. And not like the good ones, like the one I just opened, but the one from Walmart. And a lot of them had a lot of promo Pikachu cards. Actually, you know what? I think, I think I'm going to go grab a couple of them and show you. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I, uh, I had to go grab them real fast. So I put my favorite one in the back. But this was one of them. A lot, of, a lot of promo Pikachus lately. <laughs> this was another one. Looks pretty cool. Pikachu looks like he's smelling some flowers. Getting high on some flowers. This one. This one's pretty neat. And then, like I said, the one in the back is my all-time favorite. The Pikachu Mimikyu. Look how dope that is. <laughs> so I really like those. Uh, so yeah, I have a whole, like page and a half of Pikachu stuff and now I have a V card <laughs> so let's see here it came with Darkness Ablaze, Darkness Ablaze, Rebel Clash, Base Set Sun and Moon and a Fates Collide not a bad little mix up not a bad mix up at all cool. uh, I think we will put um well, no particular order in this case because it doesn't have evolutions or burning shadows. Alright, let's just go this way. Cool. Code card for you guys. That's right, this is uh, Darkness Ablaze. 
So I'm safe to put four to the front. Fighting energy, get it out of here. It is gone. Now we're going to start off with a Relicanth. There's a Soul Rock. Steeny, Wishy Washy, Pan Sage. We got the Beast Tauros. The Shrine of Diglett. Squavit. A Reverse Hollow Lugia. I don't think I have Lugia as Reverse Hollow. So, so, and on the end. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god, yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Got that full art scissor. Oh, hell yeah. I uh, I don't know why this looks different to me. I thought it was uh, a little different. This one is oh so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god, yes. I like scissor a lot. <laughs> oh, that is so sick. So dope. Thank you, Poke Universe. Nice. And I got that reverse holo Lugia. I know I bitch about the reverse hollows a lot. And yeah, it's the same story with this, but I like Lugia. <laughs> Look, I got three Lugias. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this one up then. And I think we can do it like this. Boom. Wow, their faces are still covered. Whatever. Let's get into another Darkness of Blaze. Nice. Oh, I love that scissor. That is so dope. Code card for you guys. <laughs> and we'll do my trick. Got the grass energy. Started off with a Pupitar. Corviskyre. Hiding energy. Purloin. Hippopotas. Eccentrit. A Larvesta. With the Morlo, followed by a reverse hollow Draco fish. And on the end is a Diggersby. The rare non hollow. I do, I think I do need a reverse hollow Draco's fish. And that is a rare, I do believe. Yep, that is a rare. Let's get into the Rebel Clash. So I do would I would like uh the nine tails out of this Rebels Clash Rebel Clash. Uh the nine tails looks pretty sweet. I like it. And then uh Toxtricity V Max, that'd be another cool one. Play with energy grass. Yeah. Uh, I already did my coat or card trick. So we got the scoop up net, we got a head across, we got an electrode, Galarian Mr. Mime. Caterpie, Barboach, we got the Aerocuda, Stuffle, which is kind of close to the artist that I'm uh, collecting his cards. More Peko, followed by a Galarian Darman Darmanitan. <laughs> Whatever that fool's name is. All right, base set Sun and Moon, where I pulled my very first gold card. Got that gold Ultra Ball. I got two of them actually from this. <laughs> Let's see what else we can pull in here. Go card for you guys. And we'll do three. We can do four. Right, yeah, fire. All right, Pelipper. We got a Pokeball. Hypno, I like this Hypno, it looks pretty cool. Firo, Grubbin, Drowsy, Crab Brawler, Sandile. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty cool reverse hollow Butterfree. I am collecting a whole bunch of Butterfrees. You guys can laugh, make fun of me. I really don't give a fuck. I like Butterflies and I like Butterfree. And on the end, it's a Cosmoum Rare. Get into the, oh, I can already see the code, <laughs> the code card here. It's giving away. It's a little greeny there. Because <laughs> it's this way. There you go. Oops. Maybe, maybe dude already got it. A person already got it. That is okay. I'm going to do that. A wiggly tough. That's a pretty cool picture. Is it done by the artist? I don't know. Nope. Not done by my artist. Sincino Cottony, got a Mincino. 
or Mancino. I don't really know how to say that one either. I heard people call it a Mancino or a Cincino. I've been calling it a Cincino and a Mancino. And only one of those is right. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is by that guy, Tomokazu Kamiya. But I think I just put one over there. Oh, nice. Got the double reverse hollow colorless energy followed by a Motham. I've never seen this card before. Or this Pokemon. Huh. That's pretty neat, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Those are that's all the cards. But we did get some pretty dope things here today. Got some pretty sick stuff. I like it. So we got the Lugia break card. We got the Pikachu promo V, and then that beautiful, beautiful scissor full art. We have the first edition Dark Machoke, followed by this baby right here. Got a Gem Mint 9 first edition Fossil Recycler. And then a Shadowless Machop. Got a Near Mint 8. PSA grades from the Mystery Box. I really like that Mystery Box. It was pretty cool. I had some really dope ass cards in there. Uh, Like I said, whether they're rare or hollow or not. So anyways, guys, that was the video. Please check us out on the Instagram. I'll leave that in the description. Hit us up on Facebook. Don't forget to follow there, guys. Uh, All our social medias. I try to post on most of them when I can. I've been pretty lazy lately, but I am working on that. That'll change. So if you guys like this video, leave us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you'll know when we upload again. And we appreciate all the time that you guys give us. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Mile High Pokey Den.